If I support Brexit, does it make me a right-wing Nazi? I don't believe so. Why are people that do support Brexit, things? why are they termed like this? Because the radical left controls the narrative and they like to decide anyone who is in favour of the current order in any way, shape or form must be somehow a latent fascist because they frankly are latent communists and the, the entire purpose of communism is effectively the destruction of any kind of order or hierarchy. And in this country we've worked very hard over the past thousand years to create an accountable hierarchy with a legitimate form of government that we call democracy where people can actually get justice as promised in the, the, the principles that we seem to we try to live by. But they don't agree. They don't agree. They think any kind of structure, any kind of definition is a form of oppression because you can't just willy-nilly change to something else and so therefore you are being oppressed by the concept of structure itself. And uh, I don't agree. I think that's childish, frankly. <laughs> so how, how concerned are you as somebody who sort of has your big presence on the internet, that, that this closing down of free speech on there. I mean, are you worried about well, it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's most of what I, uh, I do activism about, is mm. talking about free speech. It's incredibly important. I mean, it's a human right. And I don't really see why these platforms feel that they should have an editorial direction in this regard, but apparently they do. So yeah, it's very concerning, especially given their political leanings are very far to the left. And I say this as a centrist. I, I've always considered myself centrist. I, I opposed George W. Bush. I didn't didn't like you know Tony Blair and whatnot doing what he was with him. I I've always been very much sort of libertarian centrist. But the radical left have got so much influence now, and it's because they've effectively kind of morally subverted um, much of society, particularly the conservatives, who essentially stand for nothing now. They essentially stand for Labour. One of the things recently was a big incident with Anna Soubry, mm. when she was called a Nazi well, by... The alleged by, Nazi. Yes, by James Goddard. Yes. They, they seem to make a lot of capital about, about that experience. Mm. Um, do you, from the centre or from the right, as it were, do you experience much harassment, insults, threats. <laughs> so do tell us from the other side what it's like. <laughs> well, not non-stop, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I've obviously had threats against um, myself, my family, my children, where they go to school, where my wife uh, likes to go socially. Um, obviously. I mean, all of, all of my mentions, my inboxes, they're, they're always threats. But, like, most of it is just some angry person with dyed blue hair or something, or some, you know, radical Marxist slob who's just sat there on their couch feeding the, the, the bounty of capitalism into their face while going, ah, I hate you because you're pro-liberalism. And it's like, well, you know, I mean, I don't think, I don't think that anything's going to come of these. I think that these are generally just people complaining on the internet to try and make themselves feel better because we're getting somewhere and they're not. So are you worried about it? I mean, you know, if you get death threats and things well, like that? I mean, I mean it... it certainly is worrying. I mean, look, luckily for me, I tend to piss off champagne socialists most. Mm -hmm. So most of it is just empty air. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, you get someone like Tommy Robinson who's pissing off the, the really mm -hmm. people who think that God is on their side, mm -hmm. and that's a lot scarier in my opinion. So, so, so tell me about Tommy Robinson. I mean, you, I've seen you at, uh, was it one of the big free Tommy Robinson mm -hmm. rallies? Why, why have you sort of supported him? Well, I think that fundamentally he's having his human rights violated. He's being censored, he's being persecuted by the government and by the police. And I've seen the video evidence of it. I don't approve of what they're doing. I don't approve the kind of partial nature of the enforcement of rules that I think are being enforced fairly arbitrarily against him on purpose. Uh, this, this is something that the radical left have noticed themselves in previous eras with the treatment of n racial minorities, in fact, say in the United States. It's the same, the, the way they describe it is sort of like the, the edge of the law and it always cuts in a certain way and we're seeing the same thing the same effect on social media where the sort of like the edge of censorship always cuts against the quote unquote right wing um, but what they mean is it's people who are openly opposed to political correctness and the agenda of the radical left do you worry like like Tommy that, that it's going to get worse do you, you think oh, yeah yeah. I, I, I think it would inevitably get worse if there wasn't pushback against what was happening. Yeah. Uh, and I think they're well aware that, frankly, what they're doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. But I think they, uh, they persuade themselves that they are the sole source of all that is right, and everything they do that is wrong is justified. Do you worry about the sort of police involvement now, who seem to be picking up on the most uh, small uh, things on the internet and everything like that? Do you, do you think that will ever affect you or come into your life? Well, 
who knows? Who knows what will be considered hate speech tomorrow? The hate speech is an expressly political concept that isn't really... I mean, it's, it goes, it's antithetical to the, to the liberal traditions of Britain. I mean, we invented free speech. You know, we're the home of it, apparently. But you wouldn't know it from looking at the laws and the way the police enforce them. But what this is, is the increasing politicisation of an institution that is, on its founding principles, pledged to be neutral and clearly not following those. So, at the end of the day, maybe... Who knows? Final question, Brexit, will we ever leave? I really hope so. We've done everything we can. It's now in the hands of a bunch of Remainers. (laughs) 